booted and hatted. It's Matt Lipinskis with Brianne Delcourt. <laughs> the partnership that you guys have is fire, baby. I love it. It's wonderful to see you back where you belong, which is on form. I loved it. Oh, it's a massive 35.5, easily our highest of the series. So proud to achieve that, and now I want to push on. Now I really want to work hard and make it even better. He's back. He's yeah, back. buddy. For the last couple of weeks, I'd lost my confidence. I feel like last week I brought Matt back here. Yeah, I think he's back. Can I interest you in a hat? <laughs> One, two. Three, four. So this year, I haven't just got a hat. I've got one, two, three hats. Take your time on it, don't rush it. I've had my fair share of using this prop two years ago with Sam Atwater. He had dropped the hat. It is about the props, and you can't drop it. It's that simple. Simple. I think the hats is probably one of the hardest props to have every year. Oh my god. If you drop your prop, that's it. You're in the skate off. And flick it. Chris isn't really mucking around with the choreography. He wants me to chuck it, to fling it behind my back. There's thousands of places where I could drop it. To be honest, I'm absolutely terrified about this week. Catch it. It is tough knowing that there is five of us left and only four of us can make it through. But when it gets tougher and tougher, you've got to work harder and harder. So the dress rehearsal this week was obviously a difficult one for me. The hat wasn't falling the way I needed it to fall, it was going wrong. So I started skating really aggressive, but a bit too aggressive. This is a bit of a learning experience for you, to try and use this moment when you are on there. When it goes wrong, what are you going to do? Don't get frustrated. I understand it, though. I have faith in you. Glad someone does, because I don't. <laughs> Skating to a props night medley, it's Matt and Brianne. Last week he scored 35.5, the highest score of the entire series. This Wednesday, it's Matt's birthday. Has the hat trick bowled over the judges tonight? Started off with the pull through there. And then the entertainer flick into the entertainment part of the series, and then the sailors left. Here are the scores. Robin Cousins. Nine. Karen Barber. Nine. Ashley Roberts. Nine. Jason Gardner. Nine. It's the best mark of the series so far, 36. I was 
Ashley, fantastic score. Honey, it was fun, it was funky, it was fabulous. It was <laughs> everything rolled into one. Hats can be tricky, I've used them before, and honey, you did it with confidence. I love that each hat had its own character, and you played with it, you had fun. I mean, it was just awesome. It was awesome. Great awesome. Absolutely brilliant. I think this was the one I was the most nervous. History is not good with hats and props. But you know what? Three you, hats, Karen. Three, three hats. hats. And for every hat, different personality. And this was my favourite so far. Oh, thank you so much. And Jason, I'm guessing you're agreeing as well, then. Well, you? clearly. I mean, it was, it was genius to see you out there performing that way with three very difficult hats. You know, they are... It's very ambitious what you did out there. And I love the fact that your gear changed effortlessly into all of them but you know you showed great skill and dexterity in the way that you manipulated them and moved them as a prop well done man cheers thank you very much technically just so so good robert the man hat of l street we talk about props week and the props being important but it has to be collective with you your partner and the props and it was brilliantly done it was fun you were so clever and as jason said dexterous with the first hat the second and the third hat was like, oh, what are we going to see? We saw characters. We saw use of it that went with the music. And the two of you, between you, played creatively with the hat. Brilliant. Wow. Wow. How does that feel? It just feels amazing. I mean, this week's been an absolute hat headache. I mean, I've been dropping it everywhere. And uh, then coming to rehearsals yesterday, I had, an I had another move that went up in the rafters, but I couldn't see it because it was a black hat. So. <laughs> Last minute changes, but it you was threw a black cat into the rafters. <laughs> yes, a black cat into the rafters. That's cruel. It was, it was another another prop I had. It's good but, luck. Yeah, it's good luck. <laughs> but you know, it, it went so well. I mean, um, thank you, thank you very much. But my, my nan's here today. My 80, 89 year old nan <laughs> is here today. So hello, nan. Just like to dedicate that performance to my nan. Absolutely love her to pieces. So right, be honest with me now. How close did you come to dropping them? Um, just at the bit where Brie chucked it to me was so close. When I chucked it, everybody yeah. saw it. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, we... No, I, you, I literally little stumble, but it was just—it was right in front of the judges as well. So I literally yeah. just held in it for Great dear life. Well, I, I imagined it was a little child, a small baby, that was... to catch. So I was not going to let it go. That was the brilliance of it, though. You didn't let it go. You were so working with them. They looked like they were part of you tonight. Yeah. You were so with it. It just came together. You were full of awesomeness. Thank you very you much. You were full of full awesomeness. awesomeness. <laughs> well done. Well, he's not keeping it under his hat. Matt really wants to get into the semi-final. If you want to see him there, then vote for him when the lights open at the end of the show. For now, it's Matt and Brianne. <laughs> Here's how things stand.